As part of Screaming Frog's latest updates, they announced a lot of cool new features. One of them was this ability to analyze engrams. You can use it to analyze the engrams of an individual page, an entire site or section of a site, or even use it to find internal linking opportunities. I'm going to show you how to do that with Screaming Frog. First, we're going to open up Screaming Frog and we need to configure it to actually store the HTML that's going to allow this feature to be actually enabled. So I'm going to go to Spider and I'm going to go to Extraction and then I'm going to check both store HTML and store rendered HTML. I'll click OK. Now I can actually go ahead and start our crawl. Now that we've enabled the storing of HTML and rendered HTML, it's going to allow Screaming Frog to actually utilize the Ngram feature. In this example, what I've done is I've actually just filtered down to the GoFish digital blog. This might be an actual use case where we want to see, hey, what are the engrams of individual posts? Or what's the, what are the engrams we're using for our blog articles as a whole? So here I'll go and click one of our posts. Maybe I'll click the one around suppressing negative search results. To find the engram section, we need to go to these tabs at the bottom. And I'm just going to cycle through until I find the engrams tab. Here it is. Now I can actually see the engrams that it finds of an individual page. It's actually going to default to one engram or one gram, which I don't think is particularly useful. So I recommend actually going to two or three. That's where you're going to find engrams that are more associated with keywords. So here I can see we have engrams around negative search, negative content, featured snippet. Now I can start to see the engrams Google's finding of a given page. Let's say I wanted to expand this and I wanted to say, hey, of our blog, what engrams are we using? Well, what I'll do is I'll actually go to the first post it found, I'll go to the very last one, and then I'll select all the URLs. Now it will start to show us all the engrams it found across our entire blog articles. So now I can start to see individual engrams that it's able to find for some of these pages. So here we're talking about negative articles, Shopify store, landing pages, injury clients, injury lawyers, and I can start to see common topics or common themes of individual things that we're talking about. Maybe I want to say, hey, I'm interested in a particular topic. You can actually use the search functionality. So you can search digital PR. I can actually see across our blog, we're doing a pretty good job. We have quite a few different articles that have digital PR in the body text. Maybe I was looking for internal linking opportunities around this keyword. I can actually click the engram itself. And then what it's going to do is it's going to load all the articles that we used in digital PR in those articles. And then I can go to this body text on linked and I can see instances where we mentioned digital PR and it was identified as an engram, but we didn't actually link to it. So this is a great feature that you can use to see, hey, for a given page, for a given section, what topics are we talking about? And then what topics aren't we talking about? And then even use that to scale and source internal linking opportunities. So there's a lot of great ways that SEOs are going to utilize this feature. Hopefully a lot of the community shares that. But here's a quick tutorial on how to use that Ngram feature of Screaming Frog.